Hey guys, if you guys need your 12 and O's, domination, Evos, any sorts of online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA on Twitter. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. What is going on guys? It is your boy by 2 k and today man, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video on the best online playbook that you guys can use to get more threes and score a little bit more efficiently. Now, if you guys stay tuned to the end of this video, I do have a little bit of a surprise for you guys. It's something like a little cheesy thing that I did find that you guys can use. It's not a huge exploit, don't worry, but it is something that I think a lot of you guys could probably use when playing unlimited. So this playbook does consist of a lot of three point plays, but also a nice little five out ISO play. And more importantly, it's gonna help you guys score, like I said, a lot more. So if you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and without further ado, let's get right into it. The playbook we are gonna be talking about here today is going to be the 2013 Miami Heat playbook. Now, there is gonna be a problem that I think a lot of you guys are like, uh, bio, what the hell? Uh, if you guys do go to your playbooks and scroll over, this is a problem, okay? When you go to Historic East playbooks, both of these playbooks pop up, yet neither of them have a name. The Historic ones are obviously glitched for whatever reason. Um, so a lot of you guys might be like, I, I don't know which one it is, like which one do I pick or whatever. It is the one that has 45 plays. There's one that has 22 and there's one that has 45. Now, this is where I get, I need to stress to you guys watching this video, do not yell at me if you use the wrong playbook. Do not yell at me if you buy the wrong playbook. It is the one with 45 plays on it. 45, that is it, not 22, 45. So buy the gold Miami Heat throwback playbook or historic playbook with 45 plays, not 22. I have to stress that a lot because me and you both know, whoever, whatever individual is watching this video, you guys know somebody's gonna get mad at me because they used the wrong one. So it is the one with 45 plays in it. Now. That is what I, all I have to stress to you guys before we get into the game. Um, this is the team I'm gonna be using. You guys can see we got some three-point shooters. I finally got Tim Duncan. If you guys haven't seen my video on Triple Threat Offline, be sure to go check that out. We actually got Tim Duncan for pretty cheap, which is cool. Um, and then yeah, you guys can see we got the playbook all set up. So like I said, let's get right into it. So I'm actually gonna do what I did last year. Now I am gonna be showing you guys this playbook and stuff like that in a domination game. Um, the reason why is because if I try to show you guys online, I'm gonna be too busy trying to talk. And instead of running the plays, I'm gonna be too busy trying to explain everything. So this is just a good way for me to break it down and kind of show you guys um, how this playbook works and stuff like that. So like I said, this is gonna be based off of the 2013 Miami Heat playbook. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, like those four plays that I think really work out, especially for this year. So we're gonna be talking about quick four horns flare, quick 32 box flare, punch five flare rip, and ISO one angle. Now this ISO play is a new one that I did not show last year that I think is actually gonna be pretty effective this year and I will explain why. So uh, quick four horns flare, this is gonna be the first one you guys can obviously see. These three right here are the same things from last year but I'm gonna kinda show you guys how they work and all that sort of fun stuff. So this is gonna be the only new one. We'll talk about that though a little bit later. And uh, yeah, so let's get into the plays and let me show you guys how these things work. As I'm loading into the game though too, I wanna make this clear, okay? Because I had the same problem last year when people were like, hey, the plays don't work for me. I tried to run it and my opponent kept jumping it. Obviously, if you play somebody that knows how to stop these plays, you're gonna have to try to run a different kind of offense. Like you can't just sit here and spam up the same plays and expect it to work every single time. So all you're gonna do is hit L1. It's gonna pull up all of the plays. So right now we're gonna talk about quick four horns flare. Now this is gonna be for your power forward position. So this is gonna, okay, I tried to pump fake that, like I tried to stop and pump fake, but that is a really good point right there and me showing you guys that if you guys like don't have the open three, you guys can look to just attack the rim. So we're gonna run this play again here. Like I said, this is gonna be run for your power forward. This is where you guys wanna kinda come around and you guys will see AK is gonna get wide open for that three. Now, the reason why I like running this play is because it kind of gives you a double, you know, a double way of scoring. You can either attack the rim or you can actually get a wide open three. Now, what's so good about this playbook is like I said, it fits this year's meta even more. This year is a lot about rim running and it kind of, the weak point of the play was attacking the rim last year. Um, and now it does give you that ability to do a little bit of both. So same thing here, we're gonna slow walk. We're gonna hit the screen, we're gonna pump fake this. AK is gonna get somewhat wide open, but we're still right there to green that three. Now you guys know, it's obviously the contest system in this game is broken as well. So 
obviously, you know, as long as you get green shots, you'll be okay. Now, the biggest thing I can stress about these plays, again, is you cannot spam them. If you guys do spam them, they're not gonna work every single time, and your opponent is obviously gonna catch on. So if your opponent's like catching on to the point where you're like, hey, okay, he's, you know, throwing this pass every time, you're just gonna slow walk up, you're gonna hit this screen, and you're just gonna look to attack the rim. Like I said, you're gonna be able to attack the rim and get better looks at the rim if they're trying to over hedge on the threes. Next up, we do have quick 32 box flare. Now this play is a little bit more fun for me because you guys are gonna actually see what happens here. You can run down kind of like you're deep hashing a little bit. And what's actually gonna happen is while you're running down, your shooting guard is gonna be running up. So most of the time what's gonna happen, especially if you're playing online, your, your opponents like CPU is either going to try to help down in the sense that they're gonna help and what that's gonna do is actually give you a chance at a wide open three. Like I'm gonna show you guys again. So all you're gonna do is run here. And if they don't help, what's actually gonna happen is you're gonna get a wide open dunk at the rim again. So you guys can kind of see what's happening here in the sense that every single time that I run this play, we're gonna again get a dual look, whether it's either scoring or it's getting the wide open three. Now, the reason why I do like this play a little bit more than the first play I showed you guys is due to the fact that you guys can run this on a fast break. Now, I know that sounds weird, but that is actually how I found success running this play, especially last year when deep hashing was a thing. When you click this, it tells you to basically deep hash. So when you run through here and you're running all the way down, you guys are gonna see Clay is just gonna keep repeatedly getting wide open on that three point line. This is also a really good play for offline stuff, but obviously you guys know the playbooks I have for that. But you guys can kind of see it works out really good, especially if your opponent is off balling, they're not gonna pick up on the fact that you're gonna be able to attack the rim too. Nine times out of 10, what's gonna happen is they're gonna try to click on to jump that three. And what you can actually do is either dot it to the other guy that they're helping off of or attack the rim and get those easy layups. Next up is everybody's favorite play, punch five flare rip. It's as simple as it looks. This play, okay, well, you know, normally, normally it works out a little bit better than that. I don't know what my man Steph is doing, but yeah, you guys can kind of see, it, it's basically gonna be giving you wide open layups and wide open threes, or not wide open layups, excuse me, wide open mid ranges and wide open threes. This play is very cheesy, especially with guys like Steph, John Stockton, even a little bit of Bob Cousy action, you know, you could probably get a lot of wide open threes here. I'm trying to like let them score, but my man Chris Paul is just going to town over there with them dribble moves. Um, but yeah, this play again is very good if you kind of can catch your opponent slacking. So again, when you just click the play and you just walk up or whatever, it kind of looks like you're about to set up an, like, an offense. Even if you make them think you're shooting that, boom, you're wide open again for a nice little wide open three. Now, as I've been saying with these plays, you can't spam them, okay? I'm telling you guys that right now. You cannot spam them. And also, if you guys hop into one game, and I mean one game, and your opponent jumps the passing lane, he probably knows, or they probably know how to stop plays. I'm letting you guys know right now, this isn't gonna really work up against anybody that's like insane at the game. You come against me in Unlimited and you try to run these plays, I'm gonna know what you're doing. Obviously, because this is kind of my playbook. This is what I like using online. So um, again, like it's just as simple as really just paying attention to what your opponent is doing and adapt to what the play is doing, okay? Like adapt to it. So if I run this play and my opponent looks to jump the passing lane, like maybe not right here, right? Maybe I'm like this, right? Maybe I'm sitting here drip. They're gonna, they're gonna wait because of the, uh, it's the end of the quarter. But so right here, right? Boom. Say my opponent tries to jump that. Maybe I throw that pass really quick, get him up in the air, do something like that. But you guys kind of get the point where if your opponent is jumping that, normally what they're gonna do is because their guard will get stuck on the screen. Most people try to click on the power forward and try to like run over and jump the passing lane that way. You're not gonna wanna do that to stop it. I'm not really gonna tell you guys how to stop it because then there'd be no point in me making this video. But all I'm gonna say is just read and react to what your opponent is giving you with these plays and you will be able to knock on a lot more threes and get open a lot more. So this final play is going to be ISO one angle. So you guys are gonna see here why I like this play so much. This is a straight line to the hoop. This play is actually something more considered what a five out would be in this game. Now, like I said, deep hashing doesn't work um, as much as it did last year by any means. Um, but this play, I really only recommend using on fast breaks, like either fast breaks or when you're inbounding the ball or whatever. Because when you run this, everybody's gonna go to the right side of the court. So when you're running on this left side, look at how much room you have to attack the rim. This play is really good as well because like I said, when you run this play, if anybody helps down, if your opponent tries to help down with anybody, you're basically gonna be able to dot over to the corner for a wide open three. 
Now, the only problem is you're probably gonna have to learn how to freaking green your shots because if you don't green shots, you're obviously not gonna be able to make that as much. So, like I said, I'll show you guys one more time. ISO on angle, sometimes I'll even like to fake it, you know, run on this side, then run on this side, and boom, again, wide open. Even if your opponent has clamps, if you hit a little quick dribble move, you'll be right past him for that easy layup. Now again, I will tell you guys how to stop this one because I think people are gonna think that this one's a little too overpowered. The best way to stop this is to actually help from the corner. Now what I mean by that is you guys are gonna see right here. I'm gonna call this play again. I just realized I haven't even missed. But look, when you run right here, okay, and boom, you're right here. Normally, you guys know that they'll be staying on the three-point line. Tim Duncan, so the center normally is in the corner. That's where you kind of want to hedge over with Tim Duncan to try to get that contest. Because if your opponent kicks that out to the three-point line for that easy three, your other guy right there that's kind of standing on the hash mark can kind of cover both of those. And once, once somebody gets in a half-court set with this play, there's really nothing you can do. So... That is why I really do like this play. I love this playbook. It's by far my favorite playbook, I think, to run in this game. Um, and I think a lot of you guys are definitely going to enjoy it. Now, I'm gonna probably talk about this in the beginning of the video. If you guys stay tuned, if you guys stay tuned to the end of this video, I'm gonna kind of show you guys a little uh, throwback thing that works in this game that I think a lot of people don't know about. This actually requires no playbook, no MT, no nothing. The Warriors Freelance actually works the way it did in 2K19. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm about to show you guys right here. So if you hit right on the D-pad, L1, and hit Warriors Freelance, all you have to do, stand up at the top of the key, you know, maybe distract your opponent a little bit, do whatever, you know, pretend like you're gonna do something, and look on the corner right here. Look at that screen set by Tim Duncan and a wide open mid-range for Paul Pierce. This actually works for me when I do spotlight challenges and stuff like that, when you do need threes, your guys will be getting wide open and stuff like that. Now again, you can't just stand there the entire time. You have to make it look like you're trying to do something with Curry. If you go up against anybody that's competent in what they're doing, they're gonna know what you're trying to do. I didn't even mean to do that. So we're not even gonna worry about that play. Like we're just gonna let the play disband here. Uh, hopefully if it does, I don't know. Maybe if you call the play, it won't let you. So yeah, there you go. So again, if you're just sitting here pretending to dribble back and forth, maybe your opponent thinks you're trying to get threes, and boom, now you're wide open, and you're greening some wide open threes with your small forward. It also works for your shooting guard. It's on either side or whoever you're trying to run your offense through, but you guys kind of get the point here in the sense that, like I said, this is actually the best thing I think um, you can use for online gameplay. I, I really do. It's kind of a casual thing that can help a lot of you guys probably score a little bit better and stuff like that. So if this video does help you guys out in any way, be sure to drop a like on it. Curry from three, banging it home. Let's go. I don't know why I'm getting hyped. I'm playing the computer, but yeah, you guys get the point. If you guys are interested in live streams or anything like that, be sure to go follow my Twitch. The link is in the description down below. But also to stay up to date with future videos and streams, be sure to go drop a follow on my Twitter as well. Would be greatly appreciated. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah. Peace.